So you're always going to get people moaning about, you know, alcohol, drugs, you name it. Um, but it's hardly the worst thing going on in the world. Let's face it, you know, nothing wrong with letting your hair down a little bit. You know, just chilling out, whatever. Well, unless you're bald, then you're pretty much screwed. But, um... If you want to be entertained for free, what I suggest you do is get yourself to your local takeaway on a Friday night. Just wait. You know, just hang around. I guarantee you something is going to kick off. There was one night um, in the takeaway place I work in, chatting away to customers and my fellow purveyor of fine cloth dining. <sighs> only to see a somewhat concentrated but confused look on his face and he's like you see that? And I'm like no, what the hell are you talking about? And he starts telling me about this guy across the street approaches this lamppost you know like it's an old friend or someone special and uh, he starts wrapping his arms around it, you know, stroking the pole, running his hands up and down everywhere. And uh, trying to, you know, slow it down with it, all the rest of it. And uh, he was probably wondering why his new friend wasn't moving. So he tried something else. He started getting a little bit more uh, amorous with it shall we say and uh, then he just after a while he kind of stops backs away a little gives it another quick feel whether it was a good buy or good luck I don't know and then he promptly goes into the spice shop that was next door where he stayed for at least half an hour 40 minutes it was a really quiet night and uh, you'd think the fun would stop there wouldn't you but no the saga continued this guy, well, say guy, it's more like uh, E.T. and Richard Nixon had, you know, had a thing. And uh, he walks by the window, gesturing like crazy. And I was like, yes, got another one. So we get comfy by the counter, just waiting to see what this experiment was going to do. And, uh, slowly he kind of reaches out with both hands and I thought this guy is going to break into push-ups or something. But, no, what he does is, is he reaches forward and he starts stroking and groping the pavement. And I was like, do you think you can actually get it any harder than it already is? So this goes on for about 10 minutes until he kind of stops, gets up, kind of shrugs, you know, looking a little bit confused, maybe a bit pissed off, I don't know. Um, before he goes stumbling on his way, now I don't know, he might have been drunk, I don't like to assume these kinds of things, but uh, I think he was. So, like I said, went on his way quit the thing. Now, what happens when we came to the conclusion that um, Pavement Pete and Spice Boy or Mate kept missing each other. Now, normally I don't greet my friends by stroking and groping them <sighs> unless it was uh, somebody in particular, but that's another story for another time. And, uh, you know, never did find out if they found each other and to be honest as far as I know I think they're still out there now 